Hello, this is Peter from First Maths. Today we'll be looking at adding and subtracting 11 and 9. Today's resources. Find a worksheet on adding and subtracting 9 and 11 from the internet. Or maybe you have a, number, a page in your maths book. Individual 100 grids. Mental learning objective. I can solve number puzzles. I can multiply by 10. I can add together two digit numbers to 100. Today we are going to start with a number problem. I need four children to each write a single digit number into the number box on the board. Here is my number box. Pause the video until you have done this. Get into pairs. You can use the digits as they are or multiply them by 10. So you could, for example, you could have a 2 or a 20. A 4 to become a 40. You can add or subtract the numbers made, trying to get as close to 100 as possible. Explain your adding and taking away methods to the rest of the class. Pause the video to explain your ideas to everybody. This is the mental learning objective. I can solve number puzzles. I can multiply by 10. I can add together two digit numbers to 100. This is the main learning objective today. I can add and subtract 9 and 11 from any two digit number. I can start to add and subtract numbers to near to multiples of 10. The key idea today is I know how to mentally add and subtract. This is the main learning task. Today we're going to work on adding and subtracting 9 and 11. Today we're going to start with some practice using numbers below 30. We will add 9 or 11 to them. We will take away 9 and 11 from these two digit numbers. How could we solve 15 add 11? Here is my number line, blank number line. We start on 15 as it is the larger number. We now add on 10. What does that make? 15 add 10. There we go. We add a 10 to make 25. Well done. What do we now need to add on? 15, add 10, but we're adding 15, add 11. So we need to add what? Another 1. Well done. So what do we land on? We land on 26. Well done. The answer is 26 because we jump 10 plus 1, you add 11. Let's try a subtraction problem. 23 take away 9, what does that equal? What do we start with? 23 take away 9, so we start with 23. How far back do we jump? This time, it will surprise you. 
I am very sure. Because we don't jump back 9, we jump back 10. Because 10 is an easier number to take off than 9. And so we jump back 10 to 13. We land on 13. How much do we need to jump forward to make it a 9 and not a 10? We subtracted 1 too many to jump back 10 instead of 9. So we need to add 1. So what do we land on? 13 plus 1. We finally land on 14. Well done. You may wish to pause the video to draw this picture. See if you can work out these two sums on your own. 23 take away 11. Pause the video and solve the question. 23 plus 9. Pause the video and solve the question. Now we're going to add and subtract numbers near to a multiple of 10, such as 29, 31, 39 and 41. The same method we have just learnt can be used. We add a multiple of 10 and then adjust up or down. You all know how to add and subtract 11 and 9. What about 19 and 21? Do you think you could use the same methods with numbers like these? Pause the video and talk to your teacher about it. Let's try adding 21 and 33. What do we start with? We start with 33 because it is bigger. We add 20 by jumping on 20. And what do we get? What do we get? We jump to 53. So if you draw on your number line, 33 to 53 and write 20. You might do two jumps of 10. Now we need to add one more. What do we land on? So it is adding one more. Then we can then say 33 plus 21 equals 33 plus 20 plus 1. It equals 54. We could also do this for adding 19. Let's add 19 to 43. 19 plus 43. What do we do? We draw a line. What number do we start on? We start on 43 because it is bigger. Nineteen is almost twenty, so let's add on twenty. So we add on the twenty. Then we need to take off one. So on your number line, draw the forty-three, make a jump onto the twenty, and then take off one and see where we end up. What do you make the answer of 19 plus 43 equals? Now, we could also do this for adding 21 to 43. 21 plus 43. Again, we can draw a number line. And this time, we add the start on 43, don't we? Because 43 is bigger. Then what do we do? 21 
21 is almost 20. So we add on 20. Then what do we do? We then add on another 1. What do you make the answer of 21 plus 43? Pause the video to work it out. Get the children to work out adding and subtracting 9 and 11 using a suitable worksheet. Simplification. Suggest children use a 100 grid to support their work. Discuss the patterns they can see. Challenge. Harder. Provide problems in adding or subtracting other near multiples such as 28 and 29, 31 and 32, 41 and 42. Children can make their own problems using two digit or three digit numbers. Talk to them about the method they use. Main learning objective. I can add and subtract 9 and 11 from any two digit number. I can start to add and subtract numbers near to multiples of 10. Here is our plenary. Discuss how the children tackled some of their problems on the worksheet. Invite children to write one of their calculations on the board and explain how they did it. So you need to pause the video while they do this. Different children use different methods. Pause the video. Discuss the different methods. Here is a set of questions. Can you solve them? How would we solve this problem? Pause the video and see if you can solve these problems again with you of a key idea. I know how to mentally add and subtract. Did you learn this in this lesson today? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to know when I'm uploading my next video. If you liked this video, please like it on the like button below so I know. By clicking the bell notification bell you will always be informed when i upload a new math lesson math quiz math game or other resources so i look forward to seeing you again soon bye